G'day guys, my name's Josh. Yo, kid call me Ja Woodle and welcome back to Raft, the little like open water survival game where you hang out on a bunch of planks of wood with a shark clipping at your heels all the bloody time, trying to hopefully find some civilization. And I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I am frothing this game right about now. I'm having such a wonderful time exploring this game over again. It's been so many years since I played it and the game's been updated so much that it's a whole new kettle of fish that I'm enjoying every moment I have in it. So if you guys are coming along on this journey with me, I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. This is the first episode I've recorded since my part one came out. And so far, there's been a lot of positivity about trying something new, bringing some variety to the channel. So thank you all so much for doing that for me. But... Between the last episode and this one, I have been doing a little bit of research. Now, I am a Galar, and I completely missed the objective I was supposed to be going to. I got distracted by the big island and finding Gary the Goat. So instead, I've been trying to figure out if I've missed that objective, what happens now? And apparently, uh, or according to the internet at least, it'll respawn somewhere else down the track. Okay, far enough away from that one, there'll be another one for me to find. So, just gonna raise the anchor. Gotta, in fact, let's not even just like lift the sail. Let's point the sail in the other direction. Let's get some speedy boys going. I think it's like that because it's not like perfectly angled anymore. Let's continue on our merry way and hopefully find ourselves some more gubbins, some more plastic could be lovely. There's nothing out here right now. Let's find ourselves some resources, find ourselves a new island. Get back to what it's supposed to be, sail in the ocean blue. While I'm waiting for some stuff to show up, in fact, I think some stuff has finally started to spawn in. That's a very welcome sight. I may as well do a little bit of fishing. Food isn't really an issue for me right now. I just want to go fishing to like pass the time. When I get into like a bigger debris field, I'll um, I was gonna say I was gonna pull over. I don't really pull over your raft, do you? I'll drop the anchor and grab all the all the nuggets of awesome that I possibly can. I've been I've been burnt by not having enough plastic. I had so much plastic that I built a whole bunch more of my raft, which is probably a good idea. But I'm gonna need a whole lot more if I'm gonna stand a chance of doing anything else fun with it. We've got a couple of barrels and like some leaves and planks and stuff like that. No solid any plastic just yet. But when I find some, I'm going to gobble it up like hungry, hungry Sammy out there. I am still really upset that my raft has been turned around. Oh, there's some plastic flowing away from me. Didn't miss any other plastic. I think we're okay. Grab that one. I'm really upset that my raft got turned around. So it's not quite as uh, efficient as it once was. It's definitely harder for me to like comb the ocean. My, uh, my footprint of my nets is definitely smaller than it once was. But it's all right, we're doing okay. There's more plastic coming in that way. I might even just real quick, bang, no, that's a ladder bang around here. Where's my anchor? Even now, ooh. Oh, hold the phone. That was like a giant freaking island over there. You can kind of see on the side of the screen. There's giant like cliffs rising up into the fog. Have I stumbled across like another big island? I know I'm supposed to be looking for um like one of the big, like the objective island kind of thing. Well, I don't know, if I come across one of these places, maybe there's some more goats I can grab, maybe some other animals I can grab, some more puffer fish, some more bloomy boys to get some more explosives as well. Uh, don't really... Oh, no, Sammy. Sammy, stop that. Get out of here, Sammy. Bloody rude. I'm trying to talk to people, and you're over here having a nibble on my raft. Heckin' rude. But if I can get some more stuff on that island, it might help me find my way. Uh, real quick. I've got all the plastic I need for the copper ingot. No, I've got all the plastic I need for the battery. I just need the copper ingot. That's the word I'm trying to say. There you go. Craft you. And let's go bang you into our little radar over here. Now, so see, it's still time to go to a kilometer back that way. We're giving up on that one. But sure enough, there is a big fuck off island right there. This episode may not be as action packed, uh, <laughs> action packed, I say, as uh, some of the other ones, because I, this is going to probably, probably take me like two hours to record just this episode because I'm not going to stop off at this island for too long at least not in the actual cuts I'm going to come over here just kind of explore a little bit grab whatever gum as I can and move on I need to get as far away from the other objective island wherever, wherever it's taken wherever the, oh I think I missed a bit of plastic um whatever the objective actually is you get far enough away from that that it respawns somewhere else and sends me in a different direction so I'm not going to dilly dally too much just grab whatever I can and move on it's really cool it's bigger than the other one though Definitely bigger than the last one we came across, which is probably bigger and badder enemies over there. And hopefully a couple more goats too. Yeah, look at this place though. Just look at this place. It's way bigger and way more imposing than the last one I went to. Um, what am I doing? Let's probably anchor real quick so I can have a quick little gander about and see what I'm missing. A couple of bits more plastic. I actually might try and use... Oh, I see you, Terry. I saw the tip of your wing sticking out over there. You gave me just the tip to see, but I saw it all the same. 
I'm gonna try and use that like little like peninsula, that little rock out there to kind of spin my raft back around so it's facing the right direction again. That would be bloody lovely. So let's open you. Let's rotate this a little bit this way and push me a little bit closer. May seem daft, but it's worth the crack. I'm really curious what this place is gonna have for me though. There's like, look at this place. It's gigantic. It's not that bloody like volcano call that you sail up to an Assassin's Creed Black Flag. The Principe, I think it's called, off the coast of Africa. I don't know. I'm not so good at the whole like you bastard geography thing. But did you just, did you just chew? Did you just eat that one but also break this one? I swear there was more here a second ago. Just want like a delicate touch, so I'll just drop the anchor there. So when I take off later, just like clip the side there, spin the front around us a little bit, and we'll be A-OK. -okay. Face you that way and raise you up. All right. Got a fair amount of gubbins on me now, which is kind of good. Let's pick up all of these things just so I don't have to go looking for it later and put them into their respective boxes. Look at my inventory stuff now. Look at all the good work I've done in making my, my life just a little bit better, a little bit more organized. Actually, what I should do... Probably need all these massive uh, piles of scrap. I can make that a pile of plastic instead, like you and like you. There we go. Uh, Gaz, do you have any food? No, you don't. You've trampled it. That's fine. Grab a couple of this and just regrow my crops. No, don't pick up the bloody goats. Oh, I didn't want to do that. No, Gary, I need you to go back in your pen, please. I didn't want to carry you around and give you a snuggle. I know that you're a cuddly boy. I understand that. But you can't just leap in my arms and expect me to catch you like I'm Terry and you're Jake Peralta. Not the most uh, convenient place for me to park up the raft, I suppose, but that's right, it'll work out for me later. Just take the overland route so Sammy doesn't get his nibble on. I may have thunderous thighs, but I don't think he particularly cares about that. He's not in it for those tree trunks that I slide into jeans every day. Ooh, a boomy boy. Boomy boy, get over here. I need a punch in the eye socket. I know you're gonna get all bulgy eyed and weird with me, but that's okay. Stab a little bit, stab a little bit, and stab a little bit. Please die, please die, don't explode! Come on! How many times do I have to stab you before you actually take the hint and just die and let me ring you out? Selfish boomy boy! You could have had a nice, well, easy death, I suppose. Rather than, like, exploding yourself and sending your organs scattered everywhere, I could have turned you into powder. We could have had a juicy time, but no, you want to be a dickbag. Oh, good day, mate! How you doing? You want to be my friend? You run really weird. I'm not sure how that, that's how a llama runs at all. But sure, okay, he's just bouncing about with his long floppy ears and going for a swim. Larry the Llama. We have a Larry. We've got Gary the Goat, Larry the Llama, and Terry the Pterodactyl. You know what? I don't even care if I'm, I'm going to give names to everything. If it gives me the ability to name an animal, clearly I'm going to do it. So I'm going to have to I'm gonna make myself a, um, another net canister to get you. Ooh. And one of these sausages as well. Oi, dickbag, get over here. Come back to the ocean for me. Oh, another goat too. There's another Gary. See, I told you he was going to have a better life with me. I could take him to new provinces to find new goat tail to go chase. Ow! What the fuck? I didn't know you could pick me up and ram me. That's heckin' rude. Well, let's give you a warning next time. Stamp your feet or grunt at me or something. Don't just come over here, pick me up on my booty, and then tell me to like it. I feel a little cheap doing this. Admittedly, he's been spanking me around just that little bit, so it's not exactly like an easy fight. There we go. As soon as you start breaking, I'll come over there and ruin ya. There you Oh, God. What have I done to you? I didn't mean to suck all the bones out of your freaking body, but okay then. That's where we're gonna play it, so we're gonna play it. Give me a head instead. Eat some coconuts, get my health back a little bit. Gaz. Gaz, hey, see look, before I was cruising with the bloody net gun, and now we're running around like bloody chickens with their heads cut off, but now when I don't have it, they're standing nice and still, so even I could actually make the shot. It's almost like they, they're looking at what's in my hands and judging their actions based on that. I need to find more boomy boys though. I have very little gunpowder. I need to find some more. I need to ring out a couple of puffer fish, but I can't find any. Annoyingly, there's another freaking warthog up here, which, I mean, they're pretty good at traversing the terrain as well, so it's not really an easy fight. Do you want to come down here, bud? Do you want to come down this cliff? You going to follow me? Nah, no deal. Shook his head, shook his tusks and said, yeah, nah, mate. I'll go the other way. Fair enough to you, bud. If I can get you down here back to the ocean, though, I can have my way with you. Oh, yep, there we go. There we go. All right. Yeah, come on, bud. Come on, bud. All the way down. Yes, I know it's cheating. Yes, I know it's cheesing the, the Warthog AI, but whatever. Don't care. I need to survive this. And this is the only way I get to do that. He's got to be almost dead. If he's not, I'm in trouble because my spear's almost done as well. Slow you down. There we go. All right. I might have to take all this stuff back to the raft and make myself a new spear because I only really got one more stab left in it. And given how many Warthogs I'm coming across, it's like Pumbaa's home island over here. Over here. Bang it on. Do I get sweet tusks? How do I look now? Oh. Alright. I like it. 
Oh, look, a creature out of freaking Greek mythology. Theseus is going to use some golden string, come and murder me, and then abandon the girl that gave him the string off an island somewhere. Wait, who, what else is out here? There's got to be more, though. I've only got onto, like, the first tier of the island. It's much bigger than the last one. There should be more for me to find. Despite the fact that I just said I was going to head back to the raft, I'm definitely not going close enough to the top now. Here he comes. Here comes the squawker. Get up, get up. Piss off, you pelican. Not in the mood. If I've come up this far already, I may as well finish off this place. God, I thought I, I, the footsteps, I can hear the footsteps behind me. Look how far away he goes. He's smart. He goes and picks up boulders from a place that I can't get to. I can't stab him into a lot. Apparently a billion arrows if I'm ever going to take him down. So instead, I'm just going to run. I'm full of liquid. I'm full of food. I'm ready to keep on tracking away. And I have to worry about that flapping galah cruising about above my noggin. Ah, oh, get up. There we go. That was close. That was a little close. That's right. Look, you can have this island back in a second. I just need to take everything valuable from it, then piss off into the ocean blue again. There's one of the crates. What have you got for me? A whole bunch of stuff. I've already got fruit compote, but thank you anyway. Some... Oh! Ow! Damn it! Just a mild concussion. We're fine. We're good. This is only one of the sides. One of the, um... One of the, the spires of the island. I've only got through one of them so far. We'll do the, the other side now. Yes, I know it's getting dark. I don't have my bloody torchlight anymore because I broke it a long time ago. That's right. The moon's bright enough. We're fine. Look at the agility on the man. Hopping, skipping, and jumping all the way up a bloody cliff face. Call me Gary the Goats. More red berries. Thank you. I need that for the compote stuff. Anything else fun around here? Ooh. Couple of watermelons. Another co a coconut chicken in there as well. Some more red berries. And not much else. I was really hoping for more. This wasn't quite as illustrious as I was hoping for. I was really hoping there'd be a way for me just to bail off the side of the island. Oh, look at all the way down there. And land in the water, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. It's a fair heckin' drop, and I'm a long way up. I don't know where my bloody... Where's my raft these days? I parked it next to, like, a little, like, stony outcrop somewhere. And now I can't figure out where that may be. Uh, oh, it's all the, way, all the way down there. God. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Ow. Sorry. I'm a lot... Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Fine. You can have it. It's all yours, bud. Don't know why you need a bloody vine goo and crates and gubbins anyway, but sure. Look, I'm just helping you out. I'm coming over here having a bloody working bee, picking up all the trash left behind by other humans, and you're bonking shit on my noggin for me. Pretty heckin' rude. If I die to a bloody rock to the face, I'm gonna be pretty upset about it. Can't go that way either. How do I get down off here? I've, I've forgotten the way up. I'm lost. Look, if you just tell me the way to go, I'll leave you in peace. Oh, it's risky. It's risky. I might have to risk it for the cheese and cracker biscuits. Anything sneaky around here? I don't think so. I think I'll just like to walk here on some bloody cliff, uh, cliff trail even. Oh, I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to do it. I can't really walk around the whole bloody island again. One. Two. Oh, please make it. 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 Oh, nailed it. Unfortunately, Boomy Boy has not respawned, even though I desperately need him to. That is a crying shame. I'll have to quickly make myself some flippers and just flip around this island and see if I can find any other stuff for me. There's got to be more booby boys around, and I only need a couple of their uh, of their powders to make myself the nets, and I need to get the llama, and hopefully another goat as well. D I doubt I can breed them, but having a couple of goats seems like a pretty good idea if they're giving me milk. No uh, sneaky reeds there. No, never mind. I feel like there's... Oh, I was going to say, I feel like there's like a sneaky cave under here or something, because that seems like the kind of thing that they would do. Sure enough, there's a sneaky deaky cave. I'll drop some shit off because I'm full inventory, and then come back for it. Ooh, what are you going to hide for me in there? What you got for me? The chest gave me a sneaky paddle as well, which I appreciate. I can put the rest of you guys into here. No, this, that's the food one there. All of you guys go away like that. No spot for mangoes. Oh, do I have a spot for pineapples? I'm pretty sure I do. What can I replace with uh, pineapples? Probably need another clay pot. I can make some clay pots later if I so desire. You guys can go in there. Do I have coconut chicken already? I do have coconut chicken already, so thank you. But no, thank you. Once you read recipe once, you don't need to do it again. Uh, in there, some wood. Do I have any space for wood? I do have lots of spaces for wood. Actually, not sure why everything is going wrong for me, but that's okay. Grab that one and go real quick. Couple of ropey boys. You go there, you go there, and sort you out like that. Oh, there's so much to keep track of. This is everything's happening at all times, and I can't even know what I'm supposed to be doing when I'm supposed to be doing it. To make the flippers, I need some more uh, seaweed and vine goo. Put you guys in there so I can sort all my life out. There we go. So to find some more kelp anyway, but before I do anything, I want to know what's in here. Hopefully there's going to be something good for me. A secret, secret little cave. This would be so good. I completely appreciate it. If I was going to... Ow, Sammy, how did you follow me all the way in here, you selfish bastard? Hey, I'll stab you right in your booty. What are you going to do about that? What are you going to do about that, you finny fuck? 
Can I come back for more? Come on. Come on. What you doing down there? You can't clip through the walls anymore like the old days. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Nope. Can't find your way back in here. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get, Sammy. What have you got? You got another vine groove for me? Oh, that's really good, actually. Because now all I need is one more seaweed, which wasn't in there. But I did find some more vine groove and some glass. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Yeah, this would be a great place to live. I like it. You know, I, I agree with whoever the survivors came over here and built this little like hideout for it. I completely agree. I'd do the same. Oh, there's a boomy boy in the kelp forest. That's fine. Just don't mind me. There's probably a shark around here somewhere too. I don't like that the, the boomy boy is now protecting like the not so important ingredients. Let's get down here. There's, oh, I saw the shadow. I saw the shadow of Sammy. There he is. Stab early. Stab early and directly. Yes, he's murdered me once. He's not going to murder me again. Excuse me, boomy boy. Don't mind me. Just grab all of this. There you are. There you are. Look at that. Look how ominous that is. Come on. Oh, boomy boy's coming for me too. Ow. God, he lunged at me from a freaking mile away. But that's okay. Oh, right. That was an adventure. Grab you. Bang you once my little flippy feet. How you doing in there, Nackies? You need some water? I'll get you some water. Hang on. I need some water too. Grab this. Make sure Gary's got some food. Nice. So hopefully this goes better for me now that I um I have the flips I can move a little bit better. My oxygen's running out though. Sammy's looking pretty ominous over there. I'll keep my distance from him. But we've oh god, there was a, there was one closer to me. There's two. Oh, that's really good. Okay, well there's two booby boys. That's all the more powder. No, get a little bit closer. Stab. Get some distance. Stab. Get some distance. Easy. Stab. Stab. There we go. Okay. Ah, uh, what? Excuse me, why did you die? I could pick you up and then you exploded after the fact. Anyway, now I'm poisoned. Please don't die. Please don't fucking die. I'm one nibble away from Sammy from absolutely carking it. What the shit was that? He was dead. I was picking him up. I got one of my explosive goopies. And then he just exploded in my face anyway. Come on. Come on, game. Don't be dicking me like that. You're dicking me enough already. You don't have to give me an extra couple of inches. I've lured in another boomy boy. Hopefully this one goes better for me. Stab and run. I don't know why the last one exploded when it did, but sure, whatever. I'll deal with it as we go. Stab that one. No, you get the last one. The fourth one. There we go. Don't explode. Don't you fucking explode. There we go. Better. I don't know what I did differently there. I don't know why you flipped over instead of exploding like your last friend did. Got two explosive groupies out of him. Oh, he was really, he was really plump and ready to get ringed out. Like the explosive freaking sponge you've left on the counter for the last three weeks. Nothing else around. No, we're good. Okay. I am just going to kind of search the rest of the island. I've got one of the goose back home smelting away so I can make the powder. So I can go trap that llama. I also need to, um, probably make myself a new pen. I want to move the animals up onto the roof. They have the shade at the moment. We're going to put some trees around them. Not that the shade actually matters. It's trying to be a bit more like, you know, conscious and humanitarian and make sure that they're living in comfort, not baking out in the sun like a potato on a grill. What's it? What's out here? Any more, any more boomy boys? There's a boomy boy. Hey, buddy. How you going? You were the entire reason I want to stop off at this island. So I'm glad that I could find you. That was a really bad time for some lag. I don't know if I actually got the hit or not. I doubt that I did. Two... Three, get the fourth and bail. Four and run. Four and run. There we go. Okay, so maybe I just like, maybe their like self explosion thing, their um, their explosive powers kind of wear off if you're not too close. Takes a little while for it to kind of switch off after they die. No, we're good. We're looking good now. This is going well. While I'm swimming around doing this, looking for boomy boys, I'll grab some kelp. I'll also grab any scrap that I can find. But I can't find that on the surface, so like having a supply of this is pretty bloody important. Probably should have myself a, um, not a snorkel, a scuba tank, a little like uh, air bottle at some point though. I mean, it's not too bad. I'm not going too deep at the moment. There's probably stuff deeper down, but that's not really my issue. My issue right now is trapping up Llama and taking Larry away with me. I like how I just talked about how I wasn't going to go deep, and then sure enough, the next boomer boy that spawns is very deep. Oi! Oi! Barry the Boomer! What do I call the boomers in, um... In, uh, in Subnautica. I can't remember anymore. I definitely had a name for him. There was Gas Mask Gary, which this one could probably apply to given he's a stinky fishy. I don't remember. I do not remember, but this one's gonna have to die. Oi, dickbag, get over Don't turn your ass at me. I'll fucking eat it. Get over here. Get over here. Here we go. Come back towards the surface a little bit. Oh, fuck, I'll just do it now. One. Get away. Get away. The flippers are definitely due. Sack of shit. God damn it. 
Everything's starting to look pretty barren. Not seeing a whole lot of little yellow balloons. We all live in a yellow balloon submarine. No more of them cruising around, so I think we're pretty much done. I mean, I still got like, what, five explosive groups and I blew up like three of them too, which is kind of upsetting. That's okay. I just, need, I just need two. Now that I know how the net launcher actually works, I should hopefully be able to have a pretty good efficiency. I assume I will still miss at least once, probably twice, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to have to try. You go in there, you go in there, and you go in there. Still got some group left over, which is alright. Definitely make myself some more storage. Gaz! How you doing, guys? Are you thirsty, bud? Yep, you're thirsty and you're hungry. Oh, Sammy's doing it too. Piss off, Sammy. I'm busy right now. Get away from my raft. Just heckin' rude. Just heckin' fucking rude. I'm out here trying to do nice things for nice people. Where the dick is my hammer? Did I throw my hammer away? I definitely threw my hammer away, didn't I? Damn it, me! It's all right. I found the hammer. It was just chilling out in one of the boxes. So we're all good on that front. Put you away like that. Uh, which one was it? Was this one out here? Where were you? I know you were eating something, that one there. 30, 80, done. Okay, so to make myself the net launcher, stones and rope. Got plenty of that, plenty of that. Probably gonna go find myself some more bloody, um, what should I call it? Some more stones at some point, but that's all right, we can do that later. I will craft a couple of these, wait for these ones to dry out and take them with me. I'm gonna have to run all the way over to the bloody llamas with the shot and then be screwed to come all the way back again. I have the net launcher, I've got four nets to go. But before I go, maybe I should actually build the, like, the pen that I want to put these animals into. And it expand the route to continue on that way, so that's fine. I have to move that antenna in a second, but real fast. But that should be enough to hold in the bloody... That'll hold in some, some goats and shit, won't it? I think. Maybe. I hope so. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to have to build along there too, aren't I? All right. That's okay. That's all right. Not the worst thing in the world. You go like that, please. I need some more ropes. We don't need some more bloody ferns. Oh, I mean, I have plenty of it. It's just really annoying. I have to come back down and get some more. I was going to build the enclosure. I'm not going to wait till daytime anyway, so I guess it's a pretty good way to spend my time. Guys, I know you've enjoyed your time down here, but it's time for you to move up and onto somewhere a little bit nicer. Look at this. Look at this place I got for you. Now, will you stay inside these little rope fences? I hope you will. The rain has stopped, which is kind of nice. We've got like a nice little gate here for you as well. That's kind of facing the wrong way, but oh well, whatever. It's there now. Although, you know what? Let's gonna say that I meant that so the goat can't use a little like boards here to climb up and over. Got some trees and some shade. You're gonna need your um gonna need your grass pen though. Some cooked shark, quickly eat that so I'm not starving to death. Just eat all the shark. Hang it, why not? Treat yourself to some delicious flaky goodness. Now can I just pick this up? I hope so. Remove. It's better pick up the right thing, not just the bloody wall. There we go. Got the grass plot back. Nice, 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 nice. Alright. Here you go, right in the corner, get some water so it's all ready to go. The sun is rising on a new day, let's go hunt some llama. But right now, gas has been looked after. There is a part of me that wants to, uh, like, sail the raft over here to make the journey back a little easier, but we know what my luck with sailing the raft has been lately, so I'm just gonna not tempt that fate at all. Where were the llamas? Now, I know today I was supposed to be, like, you know, just focusing on traversing the distance to find the next objective. I'll probably do that, do that tomorrow, like, in, well, in the next episode, I guess. Uh, but, I mean, finding finding some llamas. There you are. Look at you. You like, look like a kangaroo with more legs. You're not even hopping. Why can't you be a roo boy? Just, like, lean back on your hindquarters and start hopping around. You're already springing around like goddamn Tigger. You could probably just make it work. It's fine. You've got the ears for it. You've got the neck for it. Just lean back, mate, and relax. Gotcha. Gotcha. Look at you, you long-eared bastard. Eat a carrier. All right, you're coming with me. I ought to change name. This is going to be Larry. Larry the Llama. Done. There we go. Look, it's, it's, it's so far. It's so far back to, the, back to the raft. That's okay, though. At least we nailed it in one. Do I come back for the other goats? I mean, it's the same color as Gary. I'm going to get it confused if I have two goats of the same color. I didn't see any black and white ones I was cruising around before. So I think actually... Maybe oh, can I drown the llama? Don't know how you're don't know how you're doing under here, but there you go. Look, use your long ass neck as a bloody snorkel. <laughs> I would drown before you did. But I think now that I have the llama and I've got all the supplies out of this place, it might be time just for me to leave and start heading off in the other direction. Get rid of that pen down there now as well. Up and in. There you go. There we go. Look at that. We've got a short neck and a long neck. Larry and Gary ready for an adventure. Before I take off, actually, let's grab my shears and quickly go and shear Larry. How you doing, bud? Snip, snip. Take some of you. Got some wool out of you. You look mighty cold. Fortunately, it's sunny and not raining right now. 
Uh, grab this one. Wool. In you go. There we go. Protects your precious brain. I mean, I, I probably could have used one for more times in my life than just now. What I've got now doesn't really warrant protection. It's already pretty fucked. Um, leather body armor. Reduce wood splinters from leather greaves. I'm getting splinters? I don't know. But more importantly, bigger backpack. Leather, rope, and wool. Nice. Okay, that's going to be the first thing I make. It's probably going to have like a health bar like the flippers do, but that's okay. <sighs> right. Oh, stop moaning up there. I know. Look, you're, you've got your body grass patch. You should be hang, uh, happy and well-fed and nourished. Uh, this is going to be the difficult part, though. I have to try and spin my raft so that it's facing forward again. Now, I do know that it's coming through like this way. So it's only like, I have to spin it maybe like 15 degrees. Not particularly easy, but we're going to have to give it a crack anyway. Let's face you like that. So then hopefully, hopefully when I clip the wall, it'll spin just enough. And having the sail that way will pull me off the wall at the opportune moment. That's the dream. That's the hope. Raise the anchor. Here we go. It's game time. Oh, go further into the wall, please. Jeez, I want to miss the wall completely. There we go. Spinning. A little bit more. A little bit more. Spin more, 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 more. There we go. Okay, that's nice. Get us off the wall this way. I think we fucking nailed that. I think we absolutely fucking nailed that. Let's see how it's going. Yep, the normal current is going directly down the spine of my fucking boat. Yeah, boy. Oh, we're back in business now. So now that I've got the sail running that's actually going with the wind, we're moving at some decent speed so I can start thinking about some other things to do instead. Like, in fact, what I am going to do, storage. I need lots of planks and some scrap and some rope. I don't have a whole lot of that. Actually, I used all of my wood doing all this other nonsense. Let's grab you. Quickly just cut down these little walls out here. They don't mean anything to me anymore. Thank you very much. Thank you for keeping Gary the Goat safe for all this time. Don't know how those things got past me. You weren't supposed to. I definitely thought the nets at the front were doing a better job than that. We'll grab that plastic as well, because you never know when you might need it. That's a pretty shit-ass throw, Josh. You missed it completely. Never mind then. Um, take you back, take you back. There was nothing in you. What I wanted to do is I wanted to make myself another box out next to the um out next to the smelters. So all of like my copper and my iron, all that garbage could all be done out there. Rather than having to remember which box has which, the box next to the smelters has the smeltables. I'm not going to miss the opportunity to grab a couple of extra bits of plastic on my way through either. That's an accidental throw. That's fine. I'll grab both of you. Grab that wood while I'm here as well. Weirdly a little bit shy on wood. I know I have the trees up there. I'll probably go up there and harvest those in a second. But, uh, where are you? Just grab this one. My hook is now broken as well. I think I had a spare. Can I just go like this? I mean, yeah, it's probably not super responsible given that the flames will probably burn that down eventually. But, that'll be fine. I don't have a spare hook. I thought I definitely did, but Peter Pan probably fucking stole it again. The cheeky rascal. Grab that one, two of those, some planks, and a bolt, which will be in here. Craft me one of you. Nice, nice, nice. Good. Now I can. I can take that one. In fact, all this stuff that needs to be smelted can come with me. That one, that one there. The rest of the stuff is all good. The sand. No, you can stay in there and come get the sand separately if I need it. Nice. Nice. Put you in there first. I need to make some more explosive powder. Put some of you into there as well. All right, now we're starting to kick some goals. Now that the raft is facing the right way, I can just kind of just like let it do its thing. There's some things that get past me, I suppose. I'll grab that plastic because you always need plastic, apparently. Thank God the ocean is lousy with it. Some barrels coming up. But that's the thing. Anything that's like directly in front of me here is going to get picked up. So I don't actually need to worry about it to actively go and get it myself. That's a good throw. Grab that nice big chunk of plastic. That should be worth two. How is that bit of plastic worth the same as a little barrel? A little bottle, rather. Don't know. Don't know. Don't care. How's that? But what I do want to do, because I am a nice boy, grab that. Grab some wood out of there. Thank you for resupplying me. I want to go and make myself a, just a little bit of shelter for these guys up here. Look, they're working hard. You know, it's a hard life being cute and fluffy and stuff like that. So I want to give these guys a little bit of shelter. Let's go. Mm, okay. Get out of the way, please. I reckon I can probably do it. It's going to be a bit difficult to make happen. I want to put like a little like bit of uh, shade across like this. In fact, maybe just one of these. That would be actually perfect. If I could stick that like directly above this thing, just to give it a little bit of shelter, that'd be lovely dovely. Can I just go? Oh, Larry, I need to... Oh, there's a barrel. There's a barrel. Huh, go long barrel. Please make it. Please make it. Please make it. Please make it. Oh, what a 
fucking arm on the man. Got a cannon. Call me Brady, but in my younger years, because he definitely got old and stopped being good at that. It's getting dark. That's okay. Just want to build that. There we go. Grab this. Can I just bang up the top, please? No, you've got to be a dick about it. All right, fine. I just want to put a bit of shelter here. Not quite as um perfect as I was hoping. I had to put some, like, had to put some floor down. Oh, that's a lot of plastic to sell me by. Oh, there's a lot of plastic out here, actually. Had to put some uh, like ceiling down before it would let me do anything else. I'll grab that one. I'll grab the other one coming through. There's more things coming my way. Sneaky island out there, but that's all right. I'm annoyed about all that plastic getting missed. In fact, let's go and have a little gander. How are we looking? We're two, th we're two kilometers away from the last place. So hopefully we'll come across something new soon. That's all right, though. We have the wind on our side now. We don't have to do it by manual labor. I'm annoyed that I had to uh, build that thing. And now it's like all broken at the back. Was there a better way I could have done that? There must have been a better way I could have done that. I know I can do this better. So it's going to hurt me to do, but let's harvest you down. Let's take this back as well. If I have to put that stupid little, like... Uh, I have to put the stupid, watch we call it, like the ceiling underneath it. I keep calling it a floor because it's underneath. But it's definitely what I'm supposed to be doing. Instead, let's go like this. Let's go like... Like that. Or... No, no, no. That's the right one. Okay, yeah, we'll go to this one. We'll put a couple of you guys up. We'll grab some more wood out of all of these, please. Lots of wood to be taken. But I want to make myself an actual proper, like, roof to protect all my animals. Let's go like that. Go like that and like that. Still a little bit of area around here for you guys to get some shade, which is good. But up the top... Excuse me, Larry. Oh, damn it. Get up on the top of the bloody thing. Stop, like, teabagging the bloody fence line. Up here, we go this one. That one. And to spin it around like that to make ourselves a nice little hut. The animals are getting better accommodations than I have, and it's my goddamn raft, but now I can look after it a bit better. That's gonna be perfect. Although now if it rains, it won't automatically water my um my plants, will it? Oh well, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I'm happy to just put in that little extra effort to give my animals a slightly better life. That's just all part of any human being is all about. You know, you can't just exploit all the time. Sometimes you do have to give back. Um speaking of giving back, I'm going for it. Fuck you, Sammy. I want it. I want it in my life. I see you coming for me. I see you coming for me. I don't particularly care, though. Where's the fin? Wait for the fin. There's the fin. How you doing, bud? Too early. Well too early. Got too confident. Got too cocky. Let's head back and get out of here. Larry and Gary enjoying the shade. Love to see it, lads. I've stumbled upon another big island. I'm two and a half kilometers away. I've been told it's going to respawn. I hope it bloody does. But I'm coming across another big island. That's going to be a whole thing. Um, I'm going to kind of ignore it. It's kind of blaze on past. I've got the goat now. I've got the goat. I've got the llama. Like, what else is there? I assume it's got, like, the two... Like, that gives me the milk and the wool, which are the two animal products. I'm going to have to hunt a bunch of wildebeest to get all the leather that I need anyway. Quickly just grab some of you. Thanks, Larry. I don't think I can go into husbandry. I don't think I can start, like, forcing my animals to fuck each other. And if I can, I'm either going to get a long-necked goat or a short-necked llama. Not sure how that's going to happen, but I don't really want to know either way. Um, right, so I've got you now. What do I need for a backpack? Six wool. All right, Larry, I hope you start, buddy, pushing real hard and popping out as much fur as you can, because I need all of it. I've been trying to smelt down as much of these metal ingots as I can, but I just start paying attention to where I'm actually sailing right now because I'm about to hit the bloody island. Do I stop off? Oh, I should, oh, I should probably stop here for at least two seconds to either murder a couple of Pumbas or to grab some more Boomy Boys because they will be around here somewhere. But I have been melting down as much of the, um, there we go, just like that, as much of the, the iron as I possibly can so that I can start reinforcing some of the more important aspects of my rafts. In fact, I should have quite a bit of it now. How much have I got? Seven. Not nearly as many as I was hoping for. Let's grab some more. Get some more of you smelting away because I need lots, lots more. Can I reinforce? What I want to know. Can I reinforce the nets? The four to... Yes, I can. You need some more nails. That's fine. I've got plenty of those. Not in that one, though. Not in that one. Did I, did I use all the freaking nails? All right. Apparently so. Sorry. You... Bunch of these guys. I know I'm starving to death, but it's fine. I'll get there in a second. Fortify all of these. So when Sammy comes and uh, comes a chewing, it's not that big of a deal. There's uh, not much point in risking this by getting too close. But I do want to get kind of close to the bank. There we go. Drop that just there. Let's make sure that when I do come back, I don't accidentally sail the wrong direction. There we go. Just face that the other way. I'm kind of hungry, kind of thirsty. Is this... 
nice fresh water? I don't know, actually. I'll see if I can pour it onto the crops, because they're more important. There you go. Look at me being a good lad. Looking after my animals before I look after me. Need to make sure I refill this one. Pro wouldn't be a bad shout to make another one of these upstairs, maybe. If that's what all my crops and stuff are going to be, probably a good, a good shout to have one of these up there ready and waiting for me. That's too many. In fact, let's grab all this stuff and see what we're left over with. And then, yeah, if I can make another one, I definitely will. Oh, g'day, mate. Jeez, I didn't fucking see you there down at the water. I don't have a whole lot of health left on my spear, so if you could just die nice and quickly, I'd definitely appreciate it. All right, I'm feeling a bit bad about this now. I'm definitely just cheesing the AI. I mean, shocker, right? Jawoodle cheesing the AI of an enemy in a game. Who would have ever thought that? Come on, get over here. But look, like... You're too big. Ow! You're too big and too mean and too scary for me to fight the proper way. Even with me cheesing, I'm still getting fucked up a little bit. There we go. With the last stab of my spear, we take all of that with me. Nice. Okay, I'm just exploring a little bit. Taking some wooden stuff with me just in case. I haven't seen any black and white goats yet, though. I can't have two goats the same color. I just can't do it because I don't remember their bloody names. and they'll, they'll get really mad at me. Make sure I refill the top purifier. There you go. So I have two purifiers running there. One for me and one for the animals. Wouldn't mind an extra um, crop plot as well. An extra grass plot. Planks and dirts. I should have that, I think. A couple of dirts and a couple of planks. Craft you. Thank you very much. Make sure you're nice and full. Just so, um, you know, there's two animals up here. Don't want them fighting over feed. There you go. Have another one. Might just make three and leave this area here for them to walk onto it and trampling their own food. Oh, all right, let's go to sleep, get some daytime going again. We're going a little bit long again. This game just like draws me in and I accidentally record for way longer than I'm supposed to. I just love it so much. I'm not going to stay on this island long. I just want to see what is actually out here for me. That's definitely something going to be down here, right? This is like screaming secret loot. How is there a secret loot here? Yes, a bunch of scrap and stuff like that. But that's not what I'm here for. I just want the big ticket items. You no, know, I'm raiding this place in the most efficient way possible. Ooh, sneaky deaky cave. Sticky Deaky Caves will probably have something for me. Break my axe on you. Get my second axe. I have my net launcher and my nets if I do come across something that I want to take home with me. Anyone in here? Some dirt. Didn't bring my shovel. Might come back for that in a moment. Awesome oh, shrooms, though. Yeah, I'll definitely come back for this then. I see a boomy boy out there. I've just been following the coast as much as I can. Looking for any, like, nooks or crannies that might offer a hint of loot for me. There's someone over there, actually. I don't think I've explored that island. No, I came to the cave. Okay, well, go over there too. Anything that's like looks interesting, like a different kind of landmass than what you're kind of used to, usually has something for me. Where are ya? I still got my flippers on though, so I should be able to swim away from it when you do come and attack me. Is it just the one? Looks like it's just the one. All right, oi, Boomy, get over here. There you go. One. God, I hate doing this. It scares me every time. Two, three, and four, and then run away. Run away before it explodes. You bastard, come on! Let's try this again, because it's really starting to get on my tits now. One. Can I use like a bow and arrow or something underwater? Two, three, and come on. Four, there we go. Some away, some away. There we go. When you flip over dead like that, it makes me a happy chappy. Yeah, can I use like a bow and arrow underwater? There must be a better way, more efficient way of murdering these things with less of a chance of it exploding for no goddamn reason. Found a little camp on the island with some lovely pineapples. Don't need the seeds. I've got plenty of them back home. Don't even need the bloody hat of the pufferfish either. Nothing around. No, we're good. I was expecting like a score card, but no, we're good. What's in you? Ooh. Head broth. Maybe I do need the head of the pufferfish then. I don't know what I did with it. I think I threw it off the cliff. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. I've got plenty of them back home anyway. Take the red berries as well. I really like how all the islands are different in this game. Like, everything you come to is going to be different every single time. I'm not sure if these bigger ones are random generated or if they're just, like, there's enough of them that it feels like they are. I'm sure there is a limit to how many times they can generate the, like, the big islands. Or even the small ones, too, actually. But it never feels like it gets old. Everything feels like I'm exploring something new. Oh, hang on a second. Sneaky deaky underwater stuff. It's actually, like, three feet away from my raft. A raft is just, like... Uh, just over there. So actually not far away at all. Somebody might have something to say about me coming out here. And I don't know how this stuff got down here. Was it a shipwreck? Or did like someone's house fall in the water to go full like bloody Port Royal? And there was an earthquake and the sand got liquefied. And now everything's down the bottom. Who knows? Don't know. Don't care. How's that? But I now have a new recipe as well, which is always kind of fun. Getting pretty stocked up on inventory. I've already been to the island out there, haven't I? So I need to go all that way. I was hoping to find more boomy boys, but I guess I'm just not that lucky. 
No sign of any more boomers. Sammy, not in the mood, bud. Go away. Piss off. Go like, nibble on someone else for a change. Go bring me some boomers. I feel like you'd have a pretty good chance of actually like sorting them out. Ah, how? Considering you can apparently just like gobble a deep sort of fucking spear and still be okay on the other side. Ah, uh, we're almost done here. We're almost done. I'll take my sh that's a paddle, not a shovel. Where's my shovel? Did I lose my shovel in the old death the other day? I think I might have. That's kind of a you bastard, Sammy. Not now. Of course you target. Of course you fucking target the one. Oh, actually, well, one of the few nets that I haven't reinforced. Heckin' bloody rude, dude. You can go like that, you can go like that, and I can quickly just go and repair you. Nah, didn't go for the net. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I'll make myself a new shovel. Go get that dirt so I can make myself another planter pot for my friends upstairs. How are you looking? What are you? What are you? These guys have a better house than I do. I promise this will be the last thing that I do. I've been going for far, far too long than I should be for any one episode. I'm <laughs> spending... More time doing this to make one episode of Raft than I would ever do to make one episode of Seven Days. But this is kind of how it goes. When you, I mean, I'm just enjoying the game. Does it feel like a chore to, to record this? Sometimes, admittedly, like, I love Seven Days. And I love the all different series that I've made. It's kind of why I needed, I needed to change it up and do a different game for a little bit. Just to kind of, like, refresh myself. So I can go back to Seven Days. Because it will be more Seven Days. It always will be. Damn it, that's the wrong one. So I go back to Seven Days with, like, fresh eyes and fresh vigor ready to go on some new adventures. If I just played, like, you know, back-to-back -back series of Seven Days all the time, I'd get burnt out, and then you would never get ever more Seven Days ever again, because I'd never, ever want to play it. So this is kind of a necessary thing for me to do. I was really confused about what that was for a second. It's another brown goat, though, so that's fine. And now I have the dirt, so let's go back home. Oh, I'm just really enjoying myself. I really bloody am. Make myself another grass plot, put you away, put you away, like that. I like having an actual, like, organized inventory. That's kind of like the food box, and it's not very organized at all, but we all know what it is. Palm seeds, watermelon seeds, I don't need either of you, so you can go away, because I have plenty of it upstairs again. Um, I'm going to put this just here. You guys are all nice and happy. Yes, we're good. Here you go, lads. Here you go. Here's some more little snackaroonies. I'll a little snack box in the corner for you. Boom. Nice. Water that as well. I mean, it's not the most... I probably, I probably would put more than one more animal in there without feeling bad about cramped conditions. Sammy. Sammy pullers. Every single time I come back from an adventure, you come out here and try to ruin my bloody life. And it's really heckin' rude. Need some more wood to do that. In fact, before I do, you're facing the right way. I think I'm done here. Yes, I gotta go and scavenge all of the materials out of the ocean and stuff like that, but eh. That'll take far too long. I'm not here to take every ounce of material out of all these islands. I'm here to find wherever the hell this bloody stupid thing I'm trying to find may be. Let's spin you back to that way so we cook it along well. I'm not going to hit anything. No, we're all good and dandy. Nice. How are we looking on the signal front? <gasps> oh, it's changed. Oh, it's changed. There's a new one coming up for us. So let's spin you that way. I know that's not like the most efficient way to point the rod, but I want to go in that direction. Oh, yes, baby. It's actually... It's actually pretty close. So that's the direct line. Yeah, so assume this is how it works. That's the direct line there, that vertical line. I'm kind of already heading in the right direction. All right, no whackers. Well, we're going to keep on heading out that way then. Our raft is looking pretty nice. There's some more light and stuff like that, but that's okay. I think we're all starting to come up Mill House. We're all starting to come up Raft House. Grab that plank out there so we can repair some of the damage that Sammy Boy did. Missed the bucket, but that's okay. Oh, I'm excited now. Well, there we go, guys. We're now cruising along nicely in the direction we actually need to be going for a change, which is a very lovely surprise. I'll just grab that barrel so I don't risk missing it. A part of me does want to, like, build an extra kind of, like, I don't know, down here somewhere. Maybe another net or something to grab just a little bit more stuff that cruises past, but it's not super important right now. I'm grabbing most of the stuff as it is. We've got lots of plastic again. We're actually running shy of wood, but we've got some trees up here. I'm going to build myself a couple of planters. I think uh, I'll grab some water out of here. Actually, quickly just refresh this for you, lads. There you go. Yeah, build a, a couple of planters, put some more trees down. This is the nicest pass, part of the raft by a long margin. We're doing it. We're on our way. I'm going to turn that sail just that little bit to kind of cruise off in a slightly better direction for me. But I'm excited. We're finally going to come up against what we've been searching for from the last episode. We're finally going to get to our objective. Oh. <sighs> It's been a trip. It's been what? This is episode seven, I think it is. So while I'm here, actually just kind of floating off into the distance, I do want to mention, I kind of mentioned it before, that there will be another uh, series of seven days starting relatively soon. I'm not sure if it's tomorrow or if I'll keep going with Raft for a little bit, but 
I don't think I'll finish Raft, then go back to seven days. I'm too excited to go and do the next series of seven days I've had planned for quite a long time. But I just want to take a moment, especially at this point, to thank all of you guys who are still watching this series. It's always risky doing a different game than like your niche on YouTube. But the response that I've seen so far uh, as I record this right now has been absolutely fantastic. You guys have been watching the videos. You guys have been commenting, saying that you were uh, enjoying it. Yes, people have been saying that they dislike it. That's fine. I wasn't expecting the numbers to be anywhere near as good as they are. So thank you oh so very much. Some people have even been joining up on the YouTube membership as well, which I have there and like haven't really talked about it at all. But some legends have jumped on that as well. All the extra monetary support is always so deeply appreciated. So enjoy your custom emotes with that. But I'll have to come back, find the objective and move up to the next echelon of Raft in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If y'all like to make sure the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.